Hi guys, Kevin here. So this gaming mouse right here, the Basilix X Hyperspeed, aims to be completely cable-free. Great for that kind of minimal setup, cable-free setup, or if you're having a gaming notebook and you want to game on the go away from your home, you do not want to attach additional cables to your notebook PC, this is one approach to go. Now this is basically an upgraded version of the Basilix with the Hyperspeed technology that you have both the 2.4 gigahertz and also the Bluetooth, which I'll talk in a later bit. Now this baby right here uses the same sensor as the normal Basilix which is the Razer 5G optical sensor capable to read up to 16,000 dpi. If you are godlike like Thor then definitely you can withhold such power but in the end you lose your planet so maybe you should not hold such dpi power. But jokes, jokes aside, without Going into the software, you can toggle between four preset DPI levels using the middle DPI button right here, starting from 800, 1800, 3200, and 7200 DPI. Now, this mouse right here weighs 84 grams, a little bit heavier, but I still believe it's ultra lightweight under the 100 grams mark. If you're looking for something much lighter than 84 grams, I suggest you guys check out my Razer Viper Ultimate Review. That mouse in that review weighs 74 grams. For me, I prefer a little bit weight so I feel like I have control of the mouse rather than like some rat running away from my hands. Now the two main clickers right here are fully mechanical and it's rated to last up to 15 million clicks. There is zero travel, it's a direct one to one click right here. And clicking it, it has that resistance yet it does not have that weird empty ghosting springy effect. It feels premium and I like the clicks, it's not super loud and clanky, it's just that subtle, notable, audible click to respond back to your fingers. Now aside from that, it also translates to the scroll wheel right here. The scroll wheel right here has this dot metric design, silicon grip, so it does not even have wiggling. In fact, if I shake the mouse, there is no shaky shaky bit, so it's like literally solid build right here. Now the scroll wheel has some resistance to it, it's a step type and it feels quite quiet if I put it in a normal distance like that and move it fast. It's much more quieter than the Viper Ultimate that I reviewed earlier, which was so noisy and he has shaky shaky bits. This one feels much more solid and premium surprisingly. Now aside from that, the mouse right here has an overall matte finish look and it has no RGB at all because, well, it looks better this way. Thank you Razer for not putting RGB. Now because the part where they're supposed to have RGB is actually a cover, hold down by three magnets, where you put back your USB dongle or keep your USB dongle, as well as a place to put a single AA battery right here. And if you put RGB, it will just drain up the battery. So I prefer this approach being black and minimal. It looks much more sexy in my opinion. Again, putting back the cover is quite easy. You just align the magnets and it will do the rest. So like I mentioned, the top surface area is matte finish. The sides, the rights, ring finger area as well as the thumb area has this dot metric silicon grip that helps with the overall grip of the mouse right here from the top to the sides right here and there is less skin area touching the surface top maybe a mouse pair or IKEA tabletop thanks to the Basilix design where your thumb is actually floating on top of the surface thanks to this large plastic area touching the surface in between your thumb right here. So this is one reason why I like the Basilix design like I mentioned in my previous review because I do a lot of FPS, I do a lot of glide shots and flick shots. This is very good for that kind of approach especially if you're playing like sniper based Widowmaker Anna in Overwatch. However, one thing I feel a little bit uh, about this design right here is I wish they bring the sniper button or the DPS button into this wireless mouse right here. If they bring this design, this will be an ultimate killer that I would recommend on the spot. The wireless mode has two functions. On the bottom of the mouse, you can choose the 2.4 GHz which you need to use the USB dongle. Don't lose it, that's your holy grail. Or you can enable Bluetooth, like you can connect to your notebook, gaming notebook, or even a MacBook right here that is support. However, because it's using Bluetooth low energy, don't, res don't expect it to have a high response time. It's meant to have longer duration of battery life, thus the response time is a bit slower compared to USB dongle. So if you have mission critical games or mission critical productivity like editing videos etc, definitely go with the USB dongle right here. Don't lose it, it's still your holy grail. But if you're just doing something casual like checking YouTube, web browsing, go with the Bluetooth 
and you will be fine. Now, when it comes to battery life, on a single high capacity AA battery, maybe like Duracell, Energizer, or even an Eneloop 2500 mAh, when it comes to battery life, the Bluetooth Low Energy will give you 450 hours. Whereas on 2.4 gigahertz, it will give you 285 hours. This is the rated hours by Razer. As far as using it like almost a week plus, I have no idea. It still keep on running even at 2.4 gigahertz. So let's jump into ergonomics. My hands is measuring 18 cm long and 10 cm wide. So it's on the skinny side. Whereas this mouse right here is measuring 30 cm long, 6 cm wide and 4.2 cm tall. One of the tallest back profile right here in the market right now. So let's go with a simple grip right here. When I place my hands in a fingertip con configuration right here, my thumb does not need to actuate the button at an awkward 90 degrees angle like this. So you can actually rock the thumb buttons quite easily and it's easier to actuate it compared to the top main clickers right here. So thank you Razer for balancing it out, not like the earlier model. Now aside from that, when it comes to palm configuration, Fingertip configuration and clock configuration is very good because it has ample support thanks to the high arc profile right here in the middle. It fills the void. However, if your hands is wider than 10 cm, maybe bigger hand size, definitely this mouse can be a little bit struggling for you. So you may want to go with the wireless Razer Mamba that is a little bit on the wider profile. It's much more comfortable for bigger hands. Now, aside from that, looking at the bottom of the mouse right here, it has four glide feeds located on every corner right here to balance it out. So it feels very good when it comes to gliding on the mouse pad and any tabletop. In the software, you can change any of the six programmable buttons or double it with the Razer HyperShift function. You can change the performance, calibrate your mouse pad or the tabletop, change your power saving mode as well as check battery life. So 2019 was the year of ultra lightweight gaming mouse, but the problem with them is they're still wire based. So I wish to see more variety in the sub or under 90 grams gaming mouse in the market being wireless. We review some in the past with it, which is ultra lightweight wire based. We review the Razer Viper Ultimate, which was super lightweight, super nice, but it feels a little bit empty. Whereas now this one feels a little bit more balanced with the Basilix X Hyperspeed right here. It has the right weight, it has the right shape and overall it's a very comfortable mouse to use. And you will not go wrong and I wish Razer make a variety of wireless gaming mouse in the market. They have the wireless Mamba which in the past was amazing. Now they have the Viper, this one sits in between. I wish they make a little bit more different segments to give more option to the users to pick because I believe the year for 2020 will be ultra lightweight plus wireless mode. So thank you for watching this video. If you're interested in this baby right here or updated price, links in the video description below. Remember like, subscribe and share these videos on social media that will give us a necessary boost and help us get that 20 subs, 20 subs, no, 20,000 subs so we can do that PC giveaway for 2020. Till then, I'll see you guys in the next Razer review which is audio and I think it's called a hammerhead?